Now, Dr. Alex Melrose is back to talk about finding those lumps and bumps on our pets, what they could be and how we can treat them. Welcome back, Alex. Hey, thanks for having me. Or should I call you Dr. Melrose? <laughs> Whatever sounds cool. <laughs> Go with I'm going to call you Alex. Um, how, yeah. should, how worried should we be if we do find a lump or, or sort of a bump on our animals? Not very worried, but you have to do something about it, right? So you've got to get it tested. Okay, so don't be worried. So you've got to go get a test. Don't panic. Test. Don't look up Dr. Google. Yes, because we know what happens when you Google oh, anything. Yeah. Everything's it's... going to be dying. Exactly. Right. So what could be causing them then? Well, it could be a range of things. You know, if it's a cat, you've got to consider that it's a scar tissue or a cat bite abscess can cause lumps. But most of the time, it'll be some kind of skin tumour. Now, just because it's a, a skin tumour, it doesn't mean that it's malignant. Yeah, right? that sounds terrifying. So. It's, it's exactly. But it's some kind of skin growth. So... You, you can't tell from looking at it, you can't tell from taking a photo and sticking it online, you, and I can't even really tell for sure just from looking, you need to test them. Right, you can't just show your friends and say, what do you think this yeah, is? Yeah, check this lump out on my cat. And they say, my cat had yeah. actually the same lump and it was this, it could be something completely different. Totally, totally, of course, you can't tell. Okay, so how can <coughs> they be treated or what, what do you need to look for and what's the so the, well, yeah, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to test them. And yeah. what we can do there is we've got a few options. We can put a little, quite a small needle into the lump if it's kind of in a place we can get to easily. Yeah. And you'd be surprised, you can often do that without any sedation or painkillers or anything. You, you, they won't feel it too much. Okay. If that's not an option, then we'll usually go for sedation and we'll actually take like a little piece out and we send that off, get it tested and find out what it is that's growing there. Is it something that we have to take out? Okay. That's the first part of what we're gonna do. Okay, so say so, so you, you've got the lump, you know what it is. Yeah. How do you go about treatment then? Well, often it's surgical removal. That's number one. So we, we look at how, if it's malignant and it has to come out, how malignant is it? How big a piece of tissue do we need to take yep. out? You know, two centimetres, five centimetres around it. Um, <clears throat> how do we stage it and potentially close that space with other skin? Yeah. Right? So we look at that. Um, and then if that's not enough, we also look at uh, regional lymph nodes. So we'll test the lymph nodes, look for spread. We'll do x-rays to check the chest, for, to look for spread into the chest. Um, and we'll look at chemotherapy and radiation therapy in some situations okay. as well. Okay, so yeah. what if it's just, if it's not malignant, say it's just a cyst or something, yeah. do you, what do you do, do you just leave it there or do you? <clears throat> you can, excuse me, yeah, you can. So like that, that's the most normal situation. Hey, we've tested it, Alex ring in here, yeah. great news, don't worry about it, it's gonna be fine. Um, and in those situations, we'll, we might take them off if they were itchy or you know, just annoying the animal, or it was really cosmetically horrible. Yeah. But most of the time we can just leave it. How can you tell if it is actually annoying your animal? Um, Self-trauma, you know, so they'll, they'll get under tables, they'll rub on things, they'll try and scratch it, they'll ulcerate it, it'll look a bit red and sore. Um, usually you just see the, those behavioural signs, you know. Okay. So, you're so right. you, the signal's there that it's bugging them, yeah. So yeah. what if, it's, if it is really bad news and it is cancerous, what's then? Obviously you take it out, but is there other treatment as well? Yeah, so take it out as, as I guess, thoroughly and as quickly as, as possible. Um, and then, as I was mentioning, often you can look at chemotherapy drugs, which sometimes are in tablet form. Um, more often they're in intravenous. Okay. So they come in regularly, maybe every few weeks, uh, put an IV line in, hit the, hit the cancer with... Um, chemo drugs and try and knock it back and in some of those situations you can cure it, cure them completely, you know, just okay. like in people, yeah. So what would be your, your best piece of advice then for pet owners at home with dogs and cats with lumps and bumps, what should they be thinking about? Well I think first of all just get used to examining your cat or your dog yourself. So every now and then, it doesn't have to be all the time, don't get paranoid about it, you know, mm. but just, just feel over all their surfaces and sometimes that's hard, with, especially with cats, they don't like, you know, but just get, get them used to it somehow, make it a bit of a routine. And then if you find something, let us test it. Okay. We can test it cheaply and we can test it quickly and painlessly. So take them to the vet and just make sure it's nothing Correct, to worry about yeah, and then you yeah. can take it from there. Don't leave it until it's four times as big. Okay. That's when it gets hard. Good advice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alex. Always a pleasure. Great advice too. Thank you. And Pet Corner is brought to you by Yukonuba, who are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, you can go to yukonuba.co.nz slash the cafe.